Do you know, it almost appears as if the Express newspaper might not like the BBC and the TV licence, you know. Hi, it's me again. And yeah, there's loads of stories in the Express lately about the TV licence and fighting against it and slagging it off and polls and stuff like that. They are really leading the fight in the media against the TV licence fee. And that's why I talk about them so much, because they do do a fair job. Some of them are a bit of a miss but they're putting it out there more than any other paper is. And the more it's out there, the more people will talk about it, the more people will learn about it, and the more people will feel more comfortable in cancelling their TV licence and getting on with their life with their 159 quid in their pocket, right? So have a look at today's headline in the Express. BBC licence. Can I cancel my TV licence and will I get a full £159 refund? Yeah, it's a good question, right? And 159 quid is a lot of money, and especially a lot of money to a lot of people. At the minute. So people scrolling through the Express see that and think, hang on, I can cancel my TV license, I might get my 159 quid back, I'll have some of that. And it brings new people into it. More numbers means the movement gets bigger. It's good, isn't it? So let's see what they got to say. When it comes to who needs a BBC TV license and what people can watch without one, it's important to check the rules carefully. I won't go into the details that they've put out, but it's basically, if you don't watch or record anything as it's being broadcast or use BBC iPlayer, you don't need a license. You still watch ITV or 4, 5, all on Catch Up, Netflix. You can watch Sky Stuff, Buy a Now TV on Catch Up. All that you can watch, even YouTube, without a telly license. Last year, the BBC license fee was cancelled by more than a quarter of a million people as more and more Britons refused to pay the controversial fee. One factor why the BBC saw more cancellations could be that Britons have been struggling to find the money to pay for bills during the cost of living crisis. So I think that's going to be the absolute killer for the TV licence this winter because people who were sending me messages saying, you watch it, you should pay for it, uh, giving me loads of grief about it, those people are going to start seeing where they can save money. And just by not watching any things that's been broadcast, just watching it all on catch-up, you can save 159 quid a year. That is a lot of money, especially so at the minute. And you're not going to miss any telly. The only stuff you're going to miss is some BBC stuff. But I prefer it. I couldn't go back to watching broadcast TV. Now, no way I'm going to wait for Thursday at nine or whatever to watch my favourite show. I want to watch what I want, when I want to watch it, and as many of them as I want. And doing it on catch-up and on demand and streaming allows you to do that. It's better. It's going to be a big movement this year. A lot of people, it was, say, a quarter of a million last year. I reckon you'll double that this year by the end of the year. So the title of the article was, Will I Get a Full £159 Refund? And they go on to completely not answer that whatsoever. They just haven't answered the question. They're just saying how to get a refund, and then TV licensing will say, if we approve your refund, your license will be cancelled automatically. doesn't say anything about the full £159 refund. And there's only one way you could get the full £159 refund, and that's if you pay 159 quid today for a year's worth of TV licence, and then you cancel it tomorrow. You'll get close to 159 quid back, but they'll take a day, maybe a week out of it. You tend to pay in advance. So if you pay by direct debit, you do tend to pay in advance. You should get some money back. I believe the payment cards also do a similar thing. If you've had it a while, you might not be paying in advance. So check it. Check it. Just when you call them, don't fill out the form online to cancel your TV license. Give them a call. The phone people are pretty helpful. I don't hear many complaints about the phone people. Give them a call, tell them you're cancelling, they won't give you loads of grief, and make sure you ask about a refund, and they will process it. And some people have got big money back. I've had some people get 80 to 100 quid back, and they've messaged me, which is good, right? So you're not only saving 159 quid for the next year, you're also getting like 80 quid back, depending on your circumstances, obviously. So if you've still got a television license, it's time to think about cancelling it. You're not doing anything wrong. You can own a TV without having a TV license, right? So click my name down there, the little circle, Chili John Carney, and the first video you see on my YouTube homepage, watch that. It explains everything that you can and can't watch. And you may very well be surprised at how much you can still watch if you don't pay for the TV license. And then maybe you'll think about cancelling it and joining our movement. Hey, let me know if this is you down in the comments below. And as always, to everyone else, thank you for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because if you do that, hopefully I'll see you in another video again soon, my love. Ta-da.